Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, this is probably the most odd video that I will be making, but I'm going to briefly tell you what's going on. So for those guitar players that knows that I posted the previous video of part one of my Firehawk effects video because I've been getting a lot of questions about my Firehawk, the settings, the parameters, the tones. And first of all, I appreciate it and explain how I maneuver uh, my sound within the signal chain. And I said in this video that I will be making part two of that video. Well, it's been way too long, or it's been a while. <laughs> it's been like almost like two or three months since I posted that video. But um, there are numerous reasons why I kind of paused that project. Um, number one is that um, I have been pretty busy with a lot of stuff and that have, has been uh, disrupting my video uploads, uh, my time management on making part two, which is pretty... Uh, pretty oblogging because um, there was one day where I felt like I'm going to be ready but then secondly like very last minute I'm like oh, I forgot I have this and this going on I should probably wait and then focus on that so my time management on that video has been completely um, going out of action and I'm not saying that I'm quitting it's just that that's um, the pause I'm taking. Second reason is that um, I am currently renovating my house. Um, renovating the whole house. We are repainting the whole interior of every square room of my house. And we are also moving furniture, which then affects my working station where I do all my stuff, which also affects my upload schedule. So that has been disrupting my upload schedule heavily. And so I just want to get that finished. Or if I do have the time between the week, between break sections, I'll swiftly go on to the, to the setup, get everything pre-set up, pre-record what I have to do, and um, um, just make the video in general. But yeah. The number three reason is probably the most main reason that I should be explaining. Um, recently, I have been taking a break of the Firehawk. It's not because I don't like it. I like the Firehawk. I like the pedal board itself. But there has been countless problems with it that I have been facing. For example, um, the whole environment, depending where I'm at, if the kick drum has too much vibrations or low end or punch to it, or if it's rumbling the whole building, the platform, um, it will instantaneously turn on, initiate my reverb and have to decay and mix all the way maxed out. Out of nowhere, and it will be nasty. Secondly, the foot switches don't respond on time. Third, my tap tempo is out of action. The tuning is out of action as well. So I'm basically very, very stuck in the situation that I'm in with the, with the Firehawk, including that the tone that I have created was the tone I'm looking for, but I want to expand more. But I am very limited with the Firehawk since you can only move and change. Um, stomps within the chain but you can't remove it's permanent there forever so I'm very limited with the Firehawk recently I purchased a new board for me that totally changes my life and it's called the Line 6 Helix the floored board version I think a lot of you have been hearing about the Helix and I've heard good things about the Helix I've tried it, I've played it but I never owned it 
And a couple months ago, I got the Helix. I played around with it, and oh my god, it changed forever. From there, I will be able to move stuff, add my tones, the actual tone I'm looking for, which is pretty much the same as the Firehawk, but I expanded more. So now it's fuller, more open, natural, and I just love the tone. Um, so I'm basically focusing now more on the Helix and rely the Helix a lot more than the Firehawk. And pretty much the only thing I'll be using the Firehawk is like a backup board or just have a display on my room because I don't use the Firehawk anymore. Um, so that's probably the real reason why I haven't used the Firehawk because I'm focusing now on the Helix. Um, I still have the Firehawk around, so I can still make part two of the video. It's just that it'll be a little bit different since coming back to the Firehawk is going to be a little bit weird because since I'm more used to the Helix and now going back to the Firehawk just for making that video, it's going to be a little bit different. But the preset, the patch that I have created is still there. The foot switches hasn't been changed. So I can still make part two. It's just it will be a bit different in terms of how it works, in terms of how I we how I used to use it back then. Um, and you can still use it because my patch is on the cloud, in which you can download from the Wirehawk Remote app. So I can still make the part two video. It's just it will be different. So that would be like the reason why part two has been taking its pause. For the time being, the previous reasons and the main reason why I haven't been updating as much. So I hope this video kind of helped you understand the behind the scenes of it. Um, I can't guarantee that I will be making sooner, but when the time has come, I will be able to make part two. It will be on the list that it will be there so whenever I see it, it will remind me when to make it and when to upload it for you guys to see the continuation of the Firehawk patch. So yeah, thanks for joining in this kind of explanation video.